Good afternoon for BMW and Porsche of Ocala. I'm Scotty, one of the BMW and Porsche product geniuses over here. And today we're going to be going over functions of the Bluetooth on Porsche 981 generation Caymans and Boxsters. Now a lot of this is applicable for the 982 generation of Boxsters and Spiders, also known as the 718s. But there are going to be some differences in the infotainment system controls right down over here. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is actually select the phone option right over here which is just going to, of course, just bring it to this little page right over here. And we're starting fresh. We're saying no phone is connected, nothing like that. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and hit find telephone. Now, depending if you're buying the car new or used, or sometimes even new cars do have old Bluetooth devices on the car and everything like that. And if you want to delete that, it's actually a very simple process. All we're going to do, and this works on both generations of Porsches, we're going to go and hit option right over here in the bottom right-hand corner. And we go to Bluetooth settings. We're going to select the either dial. We can either press in a dial or just select the little button right over here. I'm going to go back and forth between using touch screen as well as the dial. It makes no difference, however, though. And next, I'm going to come right over here to device list. Now, what I'm going to do from this point is, well, I want to delete all the phones. So I'm just going to go ahead and just select any one of these. From here, it allows me to either delete it, rename it, device details, or connect to it, which I'm going to hit delete. And from here, I can either hit just delete this one device or delete the whole device list, and which that's in this case what I want to do. So now I've deleted all the lists, and we can see it's all cleared out, no problems at all. And now I'm going to hit back. And I'm going to hit back again, and back one more time. Now from here, we're back to the main page of telephone, still no phone connected, so we're just going to hit find telephone again. And once again, I just want to make sure everything is just all nice and easy. Now I have a Galaxy S7 Edge over here, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my Bluetooth settings, either by hitting this little guy right over here on the top of the screen, I'm going to see if I can get these both in at the same time. It's going to be a little interesting. And now the car, as well as the cell phone, are both searching for devices. Aha! And I've named my phone Test001, so it's a little easier to find from customers' cars. And I just press on that. I get a confirm key right over here to say 21060, and I get that same little confirmation right over here. And I hit OK. And now I just play the waiting game. Now, registration successful. Now, that doesn't mean anything, honestly. It means our phone is connected, but we usually sometimes get some prompts like this one right over here. And the focus is just freaking out on me over here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hit allow. Sometimes you get another prompt like this one right over here. And this depends mainly on iPhone versus Android, but it's very important. Always look at the screen for at least about 30 seconds after you connect your phone up, and then you're good to go. Now, everything is starting to download on the car, so it's transferring call lists, it's transferring my contacts, and it does stream your contacts, which is nice, as opposed to some older infotainment systems that download them. So if you leave the car, those contacts leave with you, thankfully. So it's, it's a little more private, a little more refined, really nice stuff there. And it's now it's still transferring my call list because I just don't delete those, and it's all good to go. Now, from this case, depending if you have Android or iPhone, now iPhones cannot receive text messages while driving without Apple CarPlay, which the 98 gener 981 generation of Porsche Boxer and Caymans do not offer. But if, I, if you have an Android, depending on the generation, you can come right over here and check your, uh, check your emails, and at some point, text messages will also pop up as well. But I don't really care about that stuff. Now, dial a number. You'll be able to dial in your number, no problem, right over here. And of course, call the number without any problems. We can come over here to phone book, which is going to have all my contacts, a lot of my customers and everything like that. Previous calls, receive calls, all going to be a lot of my parents and stuff like that. Always very important to stay in contact with them. And of course, we're just going to back out of there. Now, the question I get a lot is how to actually stream Bluetooth audio from this. Now, Bluetooth audio is a little more interesting. What I recommend doing is actually getting it playing on your phone first. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this on my leg right over here because this is quite hard to hold an iPad as well as film at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and get my music playing. Now, very, very important note is turn up your media volume. Make sure it is up all the way. The audios work symbionically together. If one of them is low and you counteract the kind of the, the radio volume to compensate for that, and suddenly you switch back to radio, it is going to blast you. And it is going to be extremely loud. So now from this point, there's a couple of different things I can do. We don't do anything from this page in order for Bluetooth audio. So what we can do is we can either just hit source or media. Truly uh, no difference. Now, I'm going to go ahead and it's source because this is just what I'm used to. And I see the option for auxiliary Bluetooth, which is what I'm going to select right over here. Now, the music's already playing. And if I were to turn up the volume, I don't know if you can hear that, but I do have my music playing right over here. 
and then we're good to go. No problems at all. Pretty easy stuff to operate. And of course, this gives us some little basic information because it brings us back to the phone screen right over here. And we just see a little bit of basic information. We do see auxiliary Bluetooth and the name of the song, which is uh, Arguments by Protege, but it doesn't say who's the artist or anything like that. And from there, you can still use some of the basic controls right over here to go to the next song or anything like that. And if you're on iTunes, you can go to the previous song. I'm on Pandora, so I don't have the availability to go to a previous song necessarily. Uh, but there we go. And it's as simple as that. And that's how you function Bluetooth audio as well as Bluetooth telephone and everything like that. Now, once again, depending on packaging and everything like that, you could have multimedia controls right over here on the steering wheel in many different forms via the sports steering wheel, the normal steering wheel, or a little, little stock that's right down over here. All right, but if you do have any more questions regarding anything, please let us know. We're always happy to make how-to videos and question and answer videos. So anything you have, please email us. Uh, the email will be down in the description below, or you can call us on our main line. That'll also be in the description down below. Other than that, we hope to hear from you guys soon, and take care. Bye.